There's something magical that happens when you poach lobster tails in butter. And then when you put that inside of a breakfast burrito with other ingredients, it's pure magic. So Max goes, hey, why don't we do a uh, burrito? And I go, okay, how about this? He goes, what about a breakfast one? I go, okay. What about with lobster? He goes, okay. So that's what we're doing. 25 miles south of the U.S.-Mexico border in Mexico is a place called Puerto Nuevo. I suppose that means new port. That sound right? Yeah. Puerto Nuevo. New Puerto. Port. We can revisit that if that turns out to be wrong. But it's known for one thing. Lobster. Specifically, lobster, amazingly fresh tortillas, rice and beans. And you take this lobster that they cook, they split it. It comes to the table. You take lobster out. You put some rice and beans on these fresh flour tortillas. And you eat them and you dip in butter. And it's glorious and one of the greatest things ever. So we're sort of doing that. We've got lobster. We've got fresh tortillas. We've got butter. We're also going to do a little egg thing, and we got the rice and beans. It's going to be great today. But watch what I need to do first. This is melting butter. Max, allow me to show you the people what melting butter looks like. We're going to add one thing to it. A big fat clove of garlic that I've mushed now back on the heat. These are the lobster tails. We'll deal with those in a second. First, we'll make a little sauce and get that ready. It's very simple. We start with some sour cream in our little bowl. And we're going to add a little cumin, also known as stinky feet. Well, that's what people think it smells like. And then some chipotle peppers. And when you buy them, that's what a big, fat, smoked jalapeno looks like, a.k.a. a chipotle pepper. And if you chop those up, you get beautiful heat and the smokiness. But I don't want this to be too smoked. I don't want this to be too spicy, so I'm just going to take a spoonful of the adobo sauce that's in here and put this in. Maybe a tiny bit more. And we mix. Mmm. I can smell the smokiness from here. It's going to be great. In the fridge, and we move on. Did I mention there will be scrambled eggs going into this? Slow scrambled, lightly scrambled, beautifully scrambled eggs. Uh, punctuated with some red pepper and some green onion. So we get these starting to cook slowly in the pan. We start with a little butter. And then we'll add red peppers, the green onion, and we'll let that start to do its thing. By the way, right here, I smell garlic butter doing its thing beautifully exactly what I want to happen. Oh boy, is that going to be good. Okay, now to the lobster. Two lobster tails. We've done this before. So we're going to take our scissors. We're going to cut up the middle of this breastplate. So just find out where it starts. You just go straight along close like that. And then it's easy to do with the shell too. And look, then you just peel this apart, and boom, out comes the tail. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Man, I love this. Let's do this one. Same thing. I'm going to teach you something here after I get this guy out. Flip it over, do the shell side. I oh, like it. Shell's already breaking here. Clearly, this guy was in a fight. So what's interesting, the different color of the lobster meat uh, is based on the diet of the particular lobster. So this guy was obviously eating oranges, and this guy was eating marshmallows. You know what I mean. It's interesting. So when we're ready, we'll slip these guys into uh, the melting butter. They're going to take about uh, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so. We want to keep them super tender. We don't want them to be dry. We don't want them to be hard. We don't want them rubbery. We want them luxurious and tender and super buttery. But before we do that, you know the expression, you got to break some eggs to make an omelet? Same thing with a uh, lobster breakfast burrito. Eggs. Bowl. Okay, so we're going to go three eggs. One. Two. 
three. And you notice I'm hitting on the side, not here on the corner, not here on the edge. If you hit on the edge, there's a chance you'll get shell by cracking so violently, even if you do it gently. So just right here on the flat, that's where you want to do it. Put the salt and pepper and we mix. No, let me take the back and we beat. And I've said it before, if you're not hitting the bottom and making noise, just doing this, you're not beating eggs properly. You gotta get a little, a little violent. Or you end up with like big pieces of white still in there, which is not what you want. Good, let's check our onions and peppers. Look, you could just throw them in to the eggs when you're putting the eggs in the pan but this is gonna develop the flavors in these things. Plain, fine. Sauteed like this, much better. It's clearly time for our heat changes things shirt. Oh God, it is, yes. I can't believe we haven't done that How have we not done that? Heat changes things, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. Now we're ready for our lobster, so let's do this. Let's bring this over here, turn that down a little bit. So I scooped out some of the fat solids that came to the top. A little's fine. You know, the pure soul shit on me for whatever, but I don't care. In go the lobster tails. So we're gonna turn these guys over. Look how big they are. You don't want the butter too hot. You want it nice, sort of medium-ish. So we'll let the lobster sit in there for, you know, a couple minutes. Then we'll turn them and then we'll start our eggs. So these guys now, after two and a half minutes or so, we can turn. Look at, you can see, oh boy. Oh, these are gonna be glorious. This kid gets turned over. Oh, son. Okay, they don't get much more. Another max two minutes and those are gonna be there. But now, let's push them off to the side. Let's get our eggs happening. And then they go. And the goal is soft scrambled eggs. We don't want them dry at all. So they're actually cooking a little bit faster than I want. So I'm just gonna lift them up. You can do that with eggs. You don't have to cook them hot. They don't need a lot of heat. And if, you, if, you, if they start to get away from you, they start cooking too fast, then just pull them off to the side or lift up or whatever. Okay, so they're actually starting to cook a little faster than I want, so just pull them off the heat. Slow it down. We want them super soft. And if there's lots of heat just screaming away at the bottom of the pan, they're gonna dry out way too quickly. Look, we just came back from Japan and the Japanese in general really know how to cook eggs. Never dry always super tender. If you can use that term about eggs, which I believe you can, they got their egg game down perfectly. So here, nice, but now we can put them back a little bit. While they're doing that, let's look at our lobster. Lobster's perfect, perfect. In fact, I'm gonna take it off. Let's see these guys, look how beautiful they are. So let's take this kid right here. This one right here. Oh boy. Oh boy. We'll leave the butter. Butter's coming back to visit. Now we'll finish our eggs. So now we'll now add a little shredded Monterey Jack cheese here. Not too much. This is going to melt in. There it goes. There it goes. Gone. What cheese? Oh, you'll taste it. Look, see the stringy? Oh man. Folks, we are so close. Watch your eggs, keep them moving. They'll be fine. Meanwhile, let's have a little bite of lobster, shall we? Let's see the butter oozing out. Yum. But before I do, was that too decadent putting it in the butter? Look at, 
I say it like it's spelled A I G S. I know it's not. I know there's two. There's an E in there. By the way, now we're going to put our tortilla on and get ready to build this motherfucker. There you go, big beautiful tortilla. Fly. Fuck off, fly. Left. No, he didn't. He's right there. Well, I can't. It's not. It's not possible. I don't have any weight in this thing. And all right, come on, come on. We got to get happening. You got him. I did. You legitimately got him. What? It's not possible. He's right there. God, I've got some skills. Okay, this is ready. Okay, here we go. Let's make this happen. So, just before. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. This. It smells amazing. Okay, take this. Back on the plate. Back on the plate. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Now we clean this, and now we build. Here we go, Max. The tortilla comes on. First thing down. Right in the middle, some refried beans. You can make your own, or you can do what I did this morning. I bought them. So a good layer of this, right? Love refried beans. And now some of our sauce. Like that. And now our lobster. Just load it. Why wouldn't you? Look, when you're making your own breakfast, you get to put what you want, how much you want, on the dumb thing. And I say, you put a bunch of lobster in this kid. A couple more pieces. Is that good, Max? Yeah. You happy with that? I'm happy with this. I'm going to be really happy with this. A bit more here. We've had a catastrophic equipment failure. Malfunction. Catastrophic is an understatement. F*** up. Clearly, the camera that you're watching me now on is different than what shot the stuff before it. So, We have only one thing that we can do. We'll forge ahead with a lesser, smaller, much lighter camera because we won't get out of this episode. And because I'm going away for a couple of days and, you know, look, the Tokyo thing got us behind and now this and it is what it is. But for you, we will complete the mission. We continue. Next step, our gardeners. We really got to change our, our day. We've got the, uh, the, the refried beans. We've got the sauce we made. We've got the lobster. And now look, Max. Remember I said the butter was coming back. We want the butter. Because this is Porto Nuevo style. So we'll put some butter on here. And on she goes. <laughs> look at that. Boy, I wish this was being shot with a really good camera. Sure, it would look great. But still, now the E-G-G-S. Next, our soft, scrambled, perfect eggs. Japanese style. And last is our rice. Our lovely Mexican rice. Again, Puerto Nuevo style. This is going to be good. And just one more down here. And we're ready to roll. Ready, Max? <laughs> I love it with these burritos when we get to this point. And they're just big and huge and fat and plump and gorgeous. And here we go. <whistles> Boom. Look at their little friend. Look at the... Say hello to my little friend. Rice, beans, soft scrambled eggs, lobster, butter, sauce. Yum. This is generally what you would refer to as a ton of lobster. And we bite. That is, there's some girth to this. Some legitimate frickin' girth. I mean, do you see the lobster glistening? Do you see that? The perfect eggs. Soft scrambled eggs, you have to. When you make eggs, forget that you have high on your stove. You don't. 
You only have medium. It stops at medium. Can't go any further. <laughs> yeah, I haven't eaten anything today. So I'm starving. And it's amazing. But even if I was full, it is so buttery, delicious. And, 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 and the, the eggs do all the right things in here. The rice and the beans are so reminiscent of that Puerto Nuevo style lobster that we've all had here so many times in San Diego because it's right across the border and we go. My Godfathers. A little bit of heat from that chipotle cream that we made. All right. One left thing. Only one more thing left to do. I shouldn't do this. And if Kelly saw that I just did that, why would be in big trouble? It wouldn't even be a doghouse for me. Mm -hmm. A giant piece waiting to be consumed. Well, guess what? That little shitty thing we were just using bit the dust too. Now it's you, me, and the iPhone. If that thing goes, we'll be drawing me at the end of this with fucking chalk and a chalkboard. Thanks for hanging out. We're back. We love that you're there. Our fast food uh, episode from Japan's up. You can watch that. More fun stuff coming. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, make this. Because you know you want to. Bye.